Hey everyone, it's Apostle Michelle Peterson. You guys, I have the word for you from the Lord for the month of September. But um, I hope you guys are having a great day. And you guys, when the Lord actually, um, when I went before him to get the word for you guys for this month, he told me something about this month um, that wasn't good. So I had to go into warfare. Um, he said that the month of September wasn't pure and he said a few more things that, you know, I asked him how uh, we can work on things so I end up going into warfare. But I'll go ahead and share with you guys the word that he gave uh, to me to share with you guys for the month of September. And um, I titled this word purification because, and when the Lord actually told it to me, I was pretty, you know, like, okay, this is something that the Lord told me a while back that is really, really powerful. I hope you guys, uh, I'm going to try to explain it um, so you guys can understand it to uh, to be able to receive it because I have been getting a couple of people want me to go into details about my past videos, seeing that they, you know, they wanted more details. And um, so I'm going to try to give you guys more details about this word so you guys can understand it because it is powerful. It's life changing, um, very powerful word that uh, you can apply and need to apply every single day, okay? All right, so I'll go ahead and tell you guys, uh, share with you what the Lord said, and then I'll go into a little bit more details about what it means, okay? All right, so this is what he said. And like I said, it's called purification. That's what it's about. They need to relax this month and focus on pure things. Their hearts will become pure if they focus on pure things. Their hearts will be pure and they can ask me things and I will do them. Okay, you guys, um, as we know, like, you know, the Lord Jesus tells us like a lot. He says, you can ask the Father anything in my name and he'll do them, you know. Of course, you know, they have to be, you know, <laughs> good things they can't be anything evil but this is another thing that the Lord is saying if our hearts are pure if we can get all this negative stuff out of our hearts if we can get all this fear out all this hate all this jealousy envy strife and debating and fighting all the time and you know rage um, you know unforgiveness in our heart towards people if we can get all of this stuff out of our hearts and get our hearts purified and focus on pure things from then on um, then our heart will become pure because we are focusing on pure things and then if we can get our heart pure then we can go before God and ask him things like he said here and he will do them he will do them because everything that we ask him will come from a pure heart because we've gotten all that other stuff out of our heart. We're not going to him asking him things in fear because we're afraid we're going to lose our place. So when we go to him praying for provision, it's not coming from a fear place. It's coming from a totally pure place because we're not afraid of losing our place or losing a job or something bad happening to our kids. It's not coming from a place of fear or it's not coming from a place of envy. The reason why you want to, you know, have a specific gift is because you see this person having a gift and you want to, you know, you want to have it just like them or better than them. So it's not coming from a place of envy. It's coming from a pure place. And so this is really, really important to the Lord. He wants us uh, to have a pure heart. Um, and I'm going to read, I have the scripture here, so... You know, I know you guys probably know this, but I'm going to go ahead and read it. In Matthew, Matthew 5 and 8, uh, the Lord Jesus is saying here, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they're going to see God. You know, if you can work on getting your heart pure, you know, it may take some time. You may have some things that happen to you, you know, when you were really, really young, and it's hard for you to get that stuff out of your heart. Um, you know, you still feel the emotions from it. When you think about that person, you still feel the anger, you still feel the pain, you still have uh, the rejection towards the person. That is uh, letting you know that it's still in your heart because your heart is where you're going to feel the emotions for things, you know? 
the enemy. And I'll share with you guys the way the Lord told me the way um, things get into our hearts. He said, first, the enemy will start with the thoughts. He'll have the thoughts in our mind, um, have us focusing on it for a long, 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 long time. And then when we focus on that thought or that issue, that situation, that person for a long, 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 long time, then you feel the emotions, you know, then you start to, you know, it starts to get deep. That's when the enemy has planted that seed of fear, um, whatever it is, lust, perversion, anger, rage, jealousy, hate, you know, all of this stuff, strife. Um, you know, rejection. That's when he's planted that seed, that demonic seed in your heart because you focused on it for a while. So that's why the word says whenever, you know, the thoughts come in, we cast it down. You know, that's just the enemy. And if he can get us to focus on it and he get it in our heart, then he can control us. Basically, he can control our emotions. And then we start feeling the demonic emotions. Okay. We start feeling the fear, the anger, the rage, the jealousy, the hate. Um, all of that stuff, we feel it then. And when we feel it, it's gotten in our heart. So uh, the Lord wants us to get all of that stuff out of our hearts and the way we get it out, of course, you know, we have to uh, repent of allowing it into our hearts. You know, if it's fear, just ask the Lord, say, Heavenly Father, I repent for allowing fear to enter into my heart because we allow it. We can remove it. We can focus on something else. We can focus on something pure and it won't get in there, but we allowed it. We allowed ourselves to focus on that thought and it got in our heart. So first thing, repent for allowing it into your heart, allowing the fear, allowing the jealousy, allowing the rejection, allowing, allowing the offense. If somebody offended you, allowing that allowing the, you know, whatever you can think of, whatever you feel, whatever emotions that you're used to feeling that you know is something wrong. It's a negative emotion. Ask the Lord to uh, forgive you for allowing that, put the name on there, to enter into your heart. Then ask him to remove it from your heart and replace it with something pure. If it's fear, ask him to replace it with love and faith and joy and peace, all this good thing. If it's jealousy towards someone, Ask him to uh, replace that jealousy with love for the person, with um, patience towards the person, with peace towards the person. You know, always ask him to replace uh, that emotion with something good towards the person because when you go around that person, you want to feel love towards them. You want to feel peace. You want to feel all this good stuff towards them instead of the bad, okay? So when you ask him to remove it, um, from your heart and replace it with something good, then, you know, that's what you start focusing on, focusing on that good thing, that pure thing, um, from now on. Okay. Because like the Lord said, once your heart is pure, then you can go to him and you can ask him things and he'll do it because you have a pure heart. Okay. And then you guys in Philippians, I have it here, Philippians four and eight. That's another scripture that's going to help you focus. It talks about finally brethren, Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, and if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. And so what I did when the Lord gave me, sorry about that, someone's driving by. Um, what I did when the Lord gave me uh, this word, I asked him what, what are some of the pure things that um, he wants us to focus on. And basically, it's the same things um, that this scripture says. This is what he said. First thing he said, something pure that you can focus on every day is him. Number one, when you focus on him, he's totally pure, you know, and he'll take your mind off of whatever's going on. If you just zoom in and focus on him, and just talk to him, you know, don't talk to him about your problems because that's not focusing on him. That's focusing on your problems. But if you go to him and start talking to him and talking about him, talking about how awesome he is and things, maybe something you read in the Bible about him that, you know, is beautiful. If you start focusing on that and talking to him about, you know, Lord, I think you're great. You know, I love the way you did this with um, King David, or, you know, if you just start thinking about stuff that has to do with him and how his character, then I promise you, it's going to take your mind off something else because you're 
zoomed in and focused on him, okay? So the first pure thing that he said we can focus on is him. Uh, the next thing, this is what he said. We can focus on telling the truth. That means being honest, like what um, here in Philippians 4, 8, it says, uh, whatsoever things that are true, that's honesty. Um, if we can focus on telling the truth constantly, you know, not trying to, um, you know, say anything that's deceptive, which is lying. Just focus on telling the truth. Then he said, loving people. Focus on loving people. Yes, that can be hard sometimes. But if you focus on it, I'm going to love this person. Think of ways that you can show love to this person. Um, ask the Lord if, if you're having a tough time loving the person. Ask the Lord to replace whatever you're feeling towards that person with love for them. Pure love for them. That means no motives. You know, you don't have no hidden motives. You just have pure love for them. Okay? So the Lord said loving people. And then something else extra he said, which kind of was like, that makes sense. It sounds totally like the Lord. He said, first, loving people. Then he said, loving strangers. Loving strangers. Sometimes that can be hard for us, people we don't know. You know, they're a stranger. <laughs> How can you love a stranger? He said, that can be something that we can start focusing on. That's something pure to him. Just loving a stranger, someone that you don't even know, but you're focusing on loving that person too. The strangers, okay? Then he said, focus on doing good. That's something pure. If you're focused on trying to do good everywhere you go in your job, um, you know, when you go to the grocery store, trying to do good there. If you see $10, you know, on the ground, or if you saw someone drop it, you know, just go tap them or turn it into the store, you know, try to do good. Behind closed doors, when you're doing good and nobody's seeing you, the Lord sees you, okay? And, you know, that's what he wants us to focus on. All right, and then something else he said that we can do that's pure to him. This will, if we focus on doing these things, these things are going to make our heart pure. Meeting the needs of people, okay? Meeting the needs of people. Let's say if you know someone that has a need, you know, maybe their car broke down. You can go help them, give them a ride to work, help them maybe if they don't have money to get a tire, help them get a tire. Um, you know, help them. What needs do they have? Do they need food? Um, do they need someone to lean on and they're calling you, um, you know, and asking for your help, you know, um, minister to them, just be there for them. Okay. And giving, helping them in any kind of way you can give to them or help them. Okay. Meet their needs. That's what the Lord says. Meeting needs of people. All right. So the things that he wants us to focus on is truth, love, meekness, meekness, will definitely make your heart pure. If you can see yourself lowly, you know, I mean, you know, you don't see yourself high, like high above people. I'm better than this person. I look better than this person. I have more education than this person. You know, if you treat them, you know, like, like you serve them basically, like the Lord Jesus, you know, he washed the feet of his disciples. You know, he could have been like, you know, you wash my feet. <laughs> I'm the leader, you know, I'm, you know, I'm the Lord Jesus. You wash my feet, but he didn't. He washed their feet. Like if we can get down and serve people uh, with no hidden motives, you know, and we're doing it basically um, because we just want to serve. We just want to give, you know, we just want to show people love and we want to humble ourselves and not try to uh, exalt ourselves above people, no matter what type of title you have, no matter what type of authority God is giving you um, in the spiritual realm. It's, he wants us to still be meek, you know? He wants us to still humble ourselves um, to others and serve them and not to see ourselves exalted or high above everybody else. Um, you know, and so meekness, definitely, you know, work on that. If you can start working on being meek, that will really help you humble yourself and help purify your heart. Okay. Focus on that. Focus on joy, you know, focus on happiness all the time. Smile and just smile to everyone. You know, I have always been like a smiler. So I smile, I laugh, I do, you know, that's more natural um, to me. But if that's not something that's natural to you, just smile. Smile all the time, everywhere you go, just smile because that really does something when someone sees a person just smiling for no reason. And just, you know, try to focus on things that are fun things that just make you laugh. It's going to bring joy. Focus on those things, okay? 
Then the Lord says peace. Peace is really important because um, God is the God of peace and he's given us. We're children of God. We are the peacemakers. So this is something we want to try to focus on with all people. Um, you know, you can have peace. You can focus on it. That other person may not have peace, but that's something that you can focus on and you can bring that to them and you can leave that with them and you can release it to them. Um, you're a child of God. You can do that. That's a gift that you have is peace. So many people in this world, you guys, I was Googling one time. It was like, like, I think it was like millions of people on Google searching for peace, some type of peace. You guys, and we have that gift. We have that blessing. You know, God has given that to us. We can ask him anytime we need peace, we can ask him for it. And we can also release it. We can leave it places. You know, the Bible talks about, you know, you can leave your peace into a house or you can take it with you. And so that's a blessing that we have. So peace is something you want to focus on um, constantly. Okay. If you focus on the opposite of peace, like fear and all the other stuff, yeah, that's going to pollute your heart. Your heart is not going to be pure. So we want to focus on our heart being pure, you guys. And so, like I said, the Lord said here, if you can focus on getting your heart pure and focusing on pure things, you know, every day, all day, you know, then you can go to him and ask him things and he will do them because your heart is pure. All right, you guys. So I hope you guys take this word. I'm telling you, life changing. Lord told me this like a while back. And so that's why I've been like on this quest to just focus on positive things, keeping my heart pure. Um, you know, and, and that's what it's all about is having that pure heart. All right. So, um, you guys like this video. Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all the comments. You guys have just been like, um, really blessing me. And I know, um, I've listened to some of you guys comments and you guys want me to do videos about specific things with deliverance and attacks and stuff that you're dealing with. And so I'm going to work on those videos. I do have some, uh, prayers coming up that um, it's going to be on deliverance and we're going to break off some curses, break off, you know, some different things. So thank you guys so much for sharing and you can still share on this video. Um, and I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Enjoy this month and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. God bless.